Hey guys, we're here today with Almost Monday. How's it going, guys? Doing good. Good to Wonderful. see you. Thanks yeah. for having us. Um, and welcome to Toronto. You played your CMW showcase last night. How was that? S super fun. It, our first time in Toronto, so we didn't really know what to expect, but the crowd seemed like they were having a good time. And uh, yeah, it was a good show. Nice. And I mean, it's also exciting. You've been releasing a lot of new music, all of it very sun themed, yeah. which is perfect. Yeah. You're actually getting good weather while you're here. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you're a new band that formed during the pandemic. How has it been starting in all of this? It's, we always talk about this. It, it's been so interesting because, you know, um, I think traditionally bands like, you know, you put out music and then you immediately go play um, shows. And for us, um, putting out the music during the pandemic and not doing that was very interesting and you don't really know if you're building anything or if people are listening you kind of just see these numbers online like you know this many listens or whatever but um our first show back was Lollapalooza um which was I mean number one we were just so honored to be playing a festival like that and for it to be the first show back um and seeing people like actually you know singing the words and like knowing the lyrics that aren't you know your friends or like your your parents friends or something you know um it's just a crazy experience so um yeah definitely definitely a, a challenge but but it was cool i feel like especially with streaming the way it is now you can always get those numbers but you don't necessarily know how many of those people just yeah, listened on a playlist really. and who's going to show up yeah. so it must be exciting to get that sort of oh, verification sure. that people really do want to yeah. come out and see you too. Yeah, yeah it's always kind of feels like, you know, your first day at school or in high school or something, you're like <laughs> kind of naked on a block and it's always like, is anyone going to come? You know, because like how festivals, like people come see who's before you and then everyone leaves to go to the next show. And so it's like literally expecting like 30 people. So when there's more than 30 people, it's, it's pretty cool and uh, it's exciting. Yeah, I can't think of 30 people actually showing up to like stare at me doing, yeah, I don't know, it's my weird. job. It just feels yeah, weird. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's an interesting thing for sure. Yeah. I mean, it's your first time in Toronto too. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a totally different country. So also getting that is, yeah, yeah. is also cool. Um, as a band of three, I feel like that's also a little less than there usually is, you know, in your <laughs> average band, yeah, sure. but that's very cool. Yeah. Um, what is the whole process like for you guys, putting together a stage show, writing together? What is the process like between the three of you? Yeah, we write all the music um, together with our producer and most of it in Los Angeles and then um, put together a live show with our drummer Rafa and um, yeah, that's pretty much how we do it. Nice. So do you have like, do you all contribute to songwriting, like the lyrics or is there kind of one person that brings an idea to the table or... Or does it kind of change depending yeah, on the song? I think it's, it's always changing, but um, something that um, I actually really love about our band is we're very, um, very collaborative. Like we get in a room and we all can like assume different roles or positions and um, uh, as, as well as our producer. Our producer's kind of, we always joke, is kind of the secret fourth member. Um, but we get into a room and we just, you know, try to make something that feels right and feels good to us. and but all of us play different instruments, so it's very like much so just getting into like, I don't know, like a, like a, this is a weird way of putting it, but like a playroom and you just kind of go and like, you know, grab a guitar, grab a bass, try to get a melody going. And um, I don't know, it's a very fun process of writing music. It sounds fun because I feel like also there's the trap you fall into of, we want to write a song for this. Yeah, and then yeah. you're trying to hit that formula. Yeah. Whereas if you just go into it as like, this is fun and we'll just see what yeah. happens. Yeah. It, I think you can feel that in the music, yeah, yeah, that yeah. it's organic and you're enjoying yourself. So. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, but you can also feel like your kind of California sun energy. I really appreciate that up here. <laughs> yeah, so I thank was, you. I know, two sun songs back to back. We didn't I mean, intentionally, unintentionally, unintentionally yeah. and, and, but they felt like the right two to put out sort of before our summer. Um, two sun songs. So the rest of your music is not going to be... A series you're, of songs you're with your experiences with the sun. Whole thing going through like different phases of the year. Yeah, yeah that could yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. That's another idea. <laughs> but, uh, you don't have to take it, but if you do, let me know. Okay. Um, going from being in the pandemic to now, I feel like you have to hold on to a lot of your ideas and your goals and the things that you want to do because you physically can't go do them. Mm -hmm. So now that you're back out in the world and you can do whatever it is that you'd like to, what are some of the things that you would that are like on your bucket list of things you'd like to achieve as a band? 
I mean, it just shows just playing as much as we can everywhere we can. It'd be awesome to do some more touring in the U.S., um, do more touring abroad. I think just after two years of not playing shows, that's kind of the highest priority. And we started the band legitimately just to play shows and just to like throw shows with our friends. And so coming back to kind of the basics of why we started the band and now actually being able to do it, I think that's what we're just looking forward to the most. Mm-hmm. Well, I think another interesting part of it too is between you know, like a club set or something like CMW yeah. and then going to something like Lollapalooza. Yeah. I feel like you have to kind of put on a totally different show because the mm-hmm. size of the stage is different sure. and like sure. the audience is different. Yeah. People that come to your show are coming to see you, whereas people going to a festival yeah. might be going to see a bunch of people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that something that you consider going into a bunch of different festival gigs and everything this summer? Yeah, definitely. Like we just came back from touring in South America and like the last show before playing here was like in Brazil and it's just the energies of crowds are like just way different depending on where you go, I guess. So South America just had like some crazy um, energy and then like just like a different shift going down to a club and then trying to put on like kind of a different performance when there's like more of an intimate um, vibe and like less people. And then when there's a lot more people like at a festival or something, it's just like a different kind of show. So kind of trying to adapt to the crowd. Um, well, this is your first time being in a band together, but I'm sure you've all been doing music for longer in your lives. Is there any, let's say there's a band watching this that's new and they're getting started. Do you have any advice you've learned along the way that you think somebody would benefit from having at the start to not have to learn that hard lesson themselves? Yeah, I think, I don't know. I think for us, like, um, we, you know, we've been a band for a little bit and I feel like every year you feel like you're so different from the year before and I, and I think one of the biggest things we've felt is really finding like your sound or where you fit in I think there's so much music like you know that just comes out every day now it's so saturated but really staying true to like not just like oh this is big right now but really trying to develop a sound and something that feels like you know you know those bands that are like oh you know, you say their name and you know exactly what the vibe is or mm-hmm. what kind of emotion. Um, just trying to find what that is for you and what feels real and, and organic and authentic. I know that a lot of people say that, but like when people can listen to your music and feel like that is you and when they come to a show and feel like that truly is what you're doing in your life and how you, uh, you know, feel when you're expressing yourself. Um, that would be my biggest um, recommendation to Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's good advice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind I think. Of cliche, but <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, the more you say it, the more it drills into someone's head yeah. too. That it's like important. If everybody's saying it, it must be true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I think. Sorry. I feel like a lot of people get like nervous about it being like a brand and yeah. becoming that, but it's like there is so much to be said for hearing a new song and knowing already. I know exactly who wrote this. Like. Yeah. Or even being able to hear it and somebody else, you're like, somebody's song wrote on this and I know who it was. Yeah, yeah, I totally. think that's powerful. That's it's just hard, like, um, the way the music industry has gone was so, like, social media focused now, too. I, I think it is easier to fall into, like, oh, it's a brand and, like, you need it. But I think at the end of the day, like, a good song always wins. So if you write something that feels real and organic and isn't just following what other people are doing, I think you'll, you'll do well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, good advice. I'm going to take that for myself, too. Maybe I'll start a band and be like, hmm, I already know what I'm doing now. I did want to ask you guys, as you are starting this part of your journey, going on festival tours, I'm sure many more exciting announcements to come, more new music. Um, what are the best ways that we as your fans can support you? Wow, that's, mm-hmm. a, that's a cool question. Um, I think just streaming the music, <laughs> coming to shows. Yeah. Um, yeah. Coming to shows. It's probably the biggest thing. Because that's like what makes it, you know, you mentioned before, like what actually translates to real life, you know, all the numbers when it's like physically there, we can interact and just like kind of hang out. And that's when it becomes kind of like real, which is really cool. And I think, yeah, I think that's really important. Yeah. And, and also, I think it makes it feel more real for you guys. For sure. So you can actually See, feel yeah. like you're yeah. progressing and getting <laughs> exciting things yeah. happening. Yeah. Um, I, I'm sure you can't tell us anything too secretive, but there's more music on the way, I assume. The classic <laughs> band interview going, no, we have music, no, we can't tell you when, but yeah. I just like making everybody say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
thank you guys for making the time with me. I feel like by the next time you're here, you're going to be too big for us now that you're hitting a million monthly listeners on Spotify. Yeah, that's a massive. It's been a goal of ours for a long time, and now that it's like actually happened, it's pretty surreal. Well, how do you even fathom that number? Like really thinking about literally one million people, yeah. different people around the world listening to your songs. It's wild. I don't think you really can fathom that. It's just like, it's pretty cool. <laughs> 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 it's really about it. I don't know. You know, and again, there's, you know, you see them at shows and it's like, wow, I guess that is really, that does mean something. So it's awesome. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Thank and you. I wish you all the best and hope to see you again soon. Thank you Thank so you. much, Paige. And good luck. Yeah. And thanks for watching.